Okay, so I wanted to record a video of this. This is something I do on every sealed system after we've replaced the compressor, but before I start vacuuming it down. So where we're at is we put a new compressor, new filter dryer in. It is an LG with a failed compressor. And at this point, I have it all sealed together. Now, normally I use my wireless gauges, but I'm using these so you can see what, what the pressures do. And what I like to do before I pressure test it, well, we're gonna pressure test it with nitrogen, so we bring it up to about 150 and then bubble soap all our joints. But what I was taught to do is to do that in a very specific manner. Now we're gonna start on the high side. We're gonna open up our nitrogen, purge whatever air was out of there when I moved that over. And what we're gonna look for is when I open this, nitrogen's gonna flood in. It's gonna travel backwards up to the compressor, but then it'll go through the cap tube, through the evaporator, and back into, down the suction line and back into our compressor. And what we should see is a slow rise on this gauge. Now notice our high side climbs quickly and see our low side is starting to slowly climb because it has to meter through that cap tube. Now think about what this means. This means that on our cap tube connection, if we change the evaporator on the evaporator connections and this suction connection as well as this connection, none of them can be clogged. So now, because that doesn't check the discharge, so now we're gonna go disconnect it from here, put it on the low side, purge your little extra air out, and now we're gonna open the low side. Nitrogen is gonna push in, go through the compressor, out through the discharge tubing, up through the condenser, through the yoder loop, and back to the filter dryer. Now, there's valves in the compressor, but for the most part, this should go pretty much straight through, and so what you'll see is these will rise at a very similar rate. Notice how they're both climbing at about the same rate there. Now, I do the high side first and then the low side so that I don't have to sit forever waiting for them to equalize. But the point of this is that now we know that nitrogen can flow through the system, we haven't accidentally clogged anything because it really stinks if you accidentally clog a joint to have to figure that out after you've spent about an hour vacuuming it down. And anyway, this is, I do this every sealed system and it's, I, I very rarely clog anything, but anytime I have, this has kept me from, kept me from wasting a lot of time to figure it out. Um, let me know what you think.